Welcome to Fish Gum the Channel. I am Tony Fagioni. We've got a good one for you. We are jumping under the water to check out the bite habits of whiting. Some people call them ground mullet. Some people call them gulf kingfish. They are skittish creatures. We will be featuring Pompano Rich's Pompano Catcher surf fishing rigs. You can find them at pompanorich.net. These rigs slammed the whiting in this video. Get ready for some cool underwater footage right now. Here we go. We're going to jump into a split screen. I'll be to the right of the Go Fish Cam frame. I want to thank Go Fish Cam for sponsoring this channel. I do pay for these cameras that I have. I have four. I get a deep discount, but they have taught me so much about how to target these fish and their bite habits. And today, we're looking at the bite habits of a whiting. We're using a Pompano Rich Pompano rig. Hey, look, there's some ladyfish. Pretty cool. Uh, the top dropper is a cutlass float, which keeps the bait higher in the water column. The bottom float is actually a pill float. It's not heavy enough to keep the bait high in the water column, so the bait will actually sit at the bottom of the seabed. And right now, you can see I'm attacked by a crab, and that top dropper is out of the water column for a while. Uh, this bait was soaking uh, about 30 yards from the beach and I did not know this crab was doing this to this rig. It was out there for about 30 minutes and uh, right now I'm not going to catch fish unless it decides to eat the crab or go after the pill float further in frame. And as you can see with that pill float, what's so cool, that little pink portion really pops. Uh, you have the white contrast and that pink just in this type of water clarity, which it looks a little uh, aqua, that it's really hitting and standing out uh, where fish can see that and run towards the bait or swim towards the bait and eat it. Right now, uh, this is a suggestion to everyone that if you leave your bait longer out there than 30 minutes, you're probably gonna have something compromised about your rig and, and more likely when it's two foot waves like it was today, a crab's gonna get it and pull that bait out of the target zone for at least Pompano. Now we're closer up targeting the whiting. Uh, you're going to see two catches uh, coming up, and they're going to both be on that bottom float. Now, I've cut a lot of dead time out of this footage, so when you see the frame change, there was probably about three or four minutes where there was no fish in frame. But what this is teaching us is that this whiting is not committing to the bait. It's doing a lot of test nibbles. It's, it's, it's a skittish fish. They're not necessarily going to come in there like a bat out of hell and bite it and run off with it. They are very uh, gingerly in their approach, what I see from the GoFish cam. And this is really the first time that I've ever caught keeper size whiting with their feeding habits and their strike habits on film. And as you can see, they're coming up to that pill float, the pink float, looking at it, messing with it, but not committing to it just yet. And I'm assuming this to be the same fish making multiple passes at this rig and bait. We're using fresh peeled shrimp. This is actually blood red worm uh, fish gum on the bottom dropper. And now that fish has committed after multiple passes, hitting, striking, and holding on to that bottom dropper. These rigs are fabulous. You know, I'm going to lose this fish. He's going to come off here very shortly. Boom, he's gone. Who knows uh, if he just was partly hooked or the hook wiggled free. A bummer. But what's cool is you can see what you lose if you're, if you're using this GoFish cam. So that's one way not only do we learn, but we don't kick ourselves not knowing what we lost. Oh, there we go. Another fish caught. This is the second one. We will actually reel this one all the way in. Um, and this was a, probably about a 14 inch whiting. Again, notice it was the bottom dropper. So when you're targeting whiting, their bite preferences primarily are gonna be on the bottom of the seabed. And so you're able to present bait either on a Carolina rig or a pill float that keeps it uh, not as buoyant that it'll actually sink it towards the bottom because the bait weighs too much more than the float. But as you can see, we reeled him all the way in. Uh, we do miss some footage. One of my GoFish cams footage was compromised, so that was a two more additional whiting. But this is enough footage in this four minute time frame to really identify what those whiting bite habits look like. So I hope you enjoyed 
watching this video, and I hope you learned a lot. Please check out the Facebook group Panhandle Surf Fishing. There is a huge giveaway. We're not far from it when that group reaches a thousand members. We're probably about 300 left to go. There'll be a 12 foot dynamic surf fishing rod by FloridaSurfTackle.com. Mark Burford, the creator of that rod. I believe it's going to be one of the over the bar rods. 12 foot, beautiful rod. Tons of fish gum to give away, tons of fish bites to give away, some surf fishing rigs, some 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 dry fit shirts, some colored floats, all that is available. Probably to 30 different people are going to win something from that Facebook group. I hope you enjoyed this video. The actual fishing footage will be released next where you see the pompano we caught and also the whiting we caught. We will continue to develop more underwater videos targeting multiple species of fish so we can learn more and take away how we can best produce rigs or other tactics to catch these fish. Join me next time right here when we excite to strike. God bless you.